In January 2022, we reverse engineered a domain generation algorithm, or DGA, of a malware that most antivirus products classify as Expiro. This malware was a tough nut to crack, with intense obfuscation and countless hours poured into analysis. But the worst part, just a month later, the entire source code was leaked, rendering our efforts useless. As it turned out, the malware is actually a modular x86x64 file infector created and utilized by the Maze ransomware developers. The masterminds behind the malware dubbed the malware M0YV and revealed that the supposed Expiro name, a far simpler moniker to pronounce, was in fact an incorrect classification. The source code of M0YV is elegantly written and very well commented. The comments are originally in Russian, but we will fade in machine translations. This video is dedicated solely to exploring the intricacies of the domain generation algorithm. The DGA is as simple as it gets. Randomly select lowercase letters to the desired length to build the second level domain. Then append the top level domain .biz, which is stored in encrypted form. The pseudo random number generator that picks the letter of the domain is just a re implementation of the rand function used by the Microsoft Visual C compiler. It modifies the previous random number, which is passed down from the caller of the function that we will investigate next. Here is a look at how the DGA is called. Everything runs inside an infinite loop, meaning M0YV will never give up trying to find a working domain. After each max domain amount, the index is reset and the search starts from the beginning, except for the eventual change to the secret pool, which we will show later. The same domains are tried again when the reset happens. The maximum number of domains that should be generated is set to 128 in the header file for the DGA. The comment warns not setting this value too high, since each domain is potentially also resolved, which increases the chances that the malware will be noticed in network monitoring, for example. On this line, the seed is calculated for the random number generator. We will see this function in detail later. This seed is then passed to the DGA along with the randomly chosen desired length. The length of the domain, not counting the top level domain, is set between 5 and a maximum of 9 characters. A DNS query is then made for the generated domain. If it is successful, the domain generation is terminated. If the domain does not resolve, then the next domain is tested. Should all attempts prove unsuccessful, the malware briefly pauses before recommencing the process from the start. The wait time before the 128 domains are queried again has been configured to one minute. This is the function that calculates the seed for a domain index. As already mentioned, there is a secret pool that is switched to after matrix switch trigger domains have been tested. This constant is set to 512, which means after four runs of the same domains, the mode switches to the secret pool. After as many attempts, the mode switches back to the regular pool, thus there is never-ending switching back and forth between the modes. For the secret pool, another function is called that calculates the seed based on the index. More about this later. For the regular pool, the seed is simply a constant that is XORed with the index. This constant is set to a default value in the config generator, but it is supposed to be changed by malware operators. This function is designed to calculate the seed for the secret pool. In contrast to the regular pool, the seed depends on the current time. The year is first added to the seed. Next, a kind of weak number is calculated. The comment above says the value will change after 6 to 8 days, however this is imprecise. The value remains the same for a maximum of 7 days, but can also change much earlier. In the following simulation, the weak number for a given date is calculated according to the formula. Additionally, the bar chart below illustrates the distribution of interval lengths, 
during which the weak number remains unchanged, thus also preserving the corresponding domains. The seed is then bit rotated based on the weak number. Once this rotation is complete, the resulting seed is XORed with the index in the same way as for the regular pool. In summary, the domains in the secret pool have a validity of up to seven days before they change, whereas the domains in the regular pool remain valid indefinitely. What can we do now with the DGA? Let's look at how the domains of infected clients are being used. Infected clients make DNS queries for the DGA domains in order to reach the M0YV command and control server. As soon as one of the domains resolves, its IP is contacted, which usually means contacting the attacker's infrastructure. By registering DGA domains ourselves, we can redirect the requests to our own web server. On this server, we record the client's IP and the timestamp of the request. These IPs can then be used to inform those affected by the infection. Additionally, the affected IPs can also be displayed on a world map to see how the number of infections has developed over time. And that's precisely what we did. We examined which IPs have reported to our sinkhole in the last 24 hours at a specific point in time. We then geolocated these IPs and represented them on a map with small dots. If multiple IPs share the same location, a larger dot is drawn. In addition, we also record the number of unique IPs within the 24-hour windows and display the extent of M0YV infections over time.